Hey everyone, Coach Investor back to another video for today and back with another Tesla weekly video. Now, I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend so far. Last week, we finished the quarter, we got deliveries and the production numbers, those were great, but I didn't give you the numbers for June for the whole month out of China. So most of this video, we'll just go over the numbers out of Europe, out of a lot of countries there, numbers out of China and very, very big number out of the United States for the first half of 2023. Now, stock-wise, you will see at the end of this video, as always, we're going to look at the graph. Currently, I think we're going to see a couple of red days until we reach the earnings report. Now, we started off this week with price cuts. Yes, these things still happen. So it was reported by Reuters that Tesla cuts prices in Japan for Model 3 and Model Y. The company slashed prices for all variants of its lower price Model 3 by around 3% and reduced those of the Model Y variant by around 4%. The Model 3 price reduction made it more affordable in Japan than it ever was before when using various subsidies with the purchase, Tesla said. Funny enough, we then had a story out of China that Tesla and Chinese EV giant initiate fair pricing accord halting 2023 price wars. So in a move signaling a potential end to the intense 2023 price war that enveloped the electric vehicle sector, industry leaders including Tesla and BYD committed to fostering fair competition and refraining from irregular pricing within the largest EV market globally. Now, it says here that the pledge, though non-binding, also includes promises from the automaker to refrain from misleading consumers, stabilize growth, and mitigate risks. Here are the translated details of the agreements. So adhere to industry rules and regulations, regular marketing activities, maintain fair competition, and not disturb fair competition with abnormal pricing. Pay attention to marketing and publicity methods, not exaggerate or use full publicity to attract attention or gain new customers, a bit like clickbait on YouTube. Then the last two, Put quality first, improve lives with high quality products and services. And the last one, promote core socialist values, actively fulfill social responsibilities and take on the heavy responsibility of maintaining steady growth, strengthening confidence and preventing risks. Pretty ironic that this comes out of China, especially after their crackdown on big tech companies there. Anyways, we ended the week with another announcement, another big automaker joining the trend, so Mercedes-Benz picks Tesla's charging standard for North America EVs from 2025. So the announcement is always the same thing, same as with Rivian for GM and all the others. And I fully expect Volkswagen to be the next big one. Then we got some numbers here, estimated numbers that is from the United States for the first half of 2023. So the top selling electric vehicles. Number one, Model Y, just over 200,000 vehicles. That's up 52.9% from 2022. Number two, up 11.3% from 2022 is Tesla Model 3 with 112,791 vehicles sold in the first half of 23 in the United States. Then we have the Chevy Bolt that will be discontinued by the end of the year. And it's very, very nice to see that we get Rivian R1T here in the fourth place. Congrats to their team. Now, if you're enjoying this video so far, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe. If not, we'd really appreciate that. We're trying to reach 30,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And also thank you to the two new members of this channel. Thank you very much for supporting this channel, even though you don't have to, I really appreciate that. And if you want to support me even further, one, you can join the memberships on this channel or to check out the link down in the description and in the pinned comment to get the top 10 best stocks to buy now or go to full.com forward slash couch investor. All right, so let's start with the wholesale numbers out of Giga Shanghai. So Tesla Giga Shanghai wholesale by month and quarter. As you can see, Q2 was a record quarter. Now with 93,680 units for domestic sales and exports, June is at a 21% month-over-month growth and the quarter shapes up at 247,217 with 8% quarter-over-quarter growth. Then for the last week of June, we have the Tesla insured number. So 17,400 was that number. This is the best week of the quarter and ends Q2 obviously with a record. So also congrats to the team there, they're doing tremendously well. 
Staying in Asia, here we're going to South Korea. So they reported 1,891 Tesla sales in June. That's the 13th best month ever with 346% growth versus the last month. It's the 10th best quarter ever with 87% growth quarter over quarter. And year to date, it's 26% of last year's total. Now let's move over to Europe. So Poland reported 574 Tesla sales in June. This is the second best month ever with 48% growth versus last month. This is the best June ever as well. And year to date, as you can see, it is 189% of last year's total. Oh, and a quick intermezzo here. So Tesla sales by model group. As you can see, model S and X had its highest deliveries this quarter since the first quarter of 2019. So pretty nice to see that the refresh version are finally maybe going to get picked up. Now going back to the numbers, we have to go back down under, forgot about that. So we're going to Australia, they reported 7,018 Tesla sales and 5.6% market share in June. That's the best ever month there with 57% growth versus last month. It's also the best quarter there and year to date, it is already at 131% of last year's total. Now, going back to Europe, more specifically Germany, very, very important market for Tesla. So they reported just over 8,000 Tesla sales and a 2.9% market share in June. This is the sixth best month ever with 53% growth versus last month. So again, this is the best June ever. And this is the fourth best quarter ever as well, but it's down 24% quarter over quarter. And as you can see, year to date, it is 52% of last year's total already. Then another important market for Tesla, that's the United Kingdom. They reported 7,533 Tesla sales and 4.5% market share in June. Model Y, overall the best selling model there. This was the sixth best month ever and it's up 119% versus last month. Year to date, it is at 48% of last year's total, of course. UK economy not doing so well and I don't think they have as many incentives as in the United States. So let's keep an eye on what happens in the UK later on this year. Then moving on to Spain, they reported 1,752 Tesla sales and 1.7% market share in June. Best month ever, best quarter ever as well. And year to date, it's at 115% of last year's total. Moving on to Belgium, they reported 1,868 Tesla sales, 3.6% market share in June. Second best quarter ever, second best month ever as well. And year to date, it is at 171% of last year's total. And no, I'm not one of those that have bought a Tesla. Moving further south, we're going to Italy here. So they reported 1,751 Tesla sales in June. Second best month ever, best June ever, second best quarter ever as well. And year to date, it is at 152% of last year's total. As for the Netherlands, they reported 2,717 sales in June, seventh best month ever, third best quarter overall, and year to date it is at 188% of last year's total. Moving up north, we're going to Denmark here, 2,827 Tesla sales in June, second best month ever, second best quarter ever as well, and year to date it's at 346% of last year's total. In France, they reported 8,516 Tesla sales, second best month ever, best quarter ever, and year to date, it's at 93% of last year's total. I hope that by now you understand that growth here, the growth story is not busted, at least not yet. Going to Norway, 3,450 Tesla sales reported in June, 10th best month ever, fourth best quarter ever, best Q2 ever by the way, and year to date it's at 79% of last year's total. And I believe this is the last one for this video. Of course, there are some other countries as well, but otherwise I think we're going to go around the world here and this video will be extremely long. Finland, 899 Tesla sales recorded in June, second best month ever, best quarter ever, and year to date, it's at 177% of last year's total. If you think that was a mouthful, I can tell you you're 100% correct. This is the second time for me that I'm recording this video because the first time the audio was crappy. So yeah, just bear with me. But overall, the numbers look good. Of course, in a couple of markets, you could see maybe better numbers, but don't forget right now, even though the stock market has gone up in 2023, the overall economy worldwide, especially in Europe, hasn't been great. So to see it grow still like this, 
is very, very promising. Of course, second half of the year could be a different story, could be even better, could be worse, remains to be seen. Now, with regards to the graph, the stock, this week we got a red candle here, and I do think that we hit a bit of a resistance at around $280 or so. We had a small gap here as well from that great delivery and production numbers. And seeing that, well, earnings is, I think, 10 days away or so, I mean, we could be staying flat-ish for the next two weeks, and then if earnings is very, very good, try to break that resistance and continue our way back up. If earnings isn't great, at least not good to what the market expects it to be, then yes, I do expect it to go back down to around 240 or something like that. Now, we are very, very close to being overbought on a weekly basis. On the daily basis, it's a bit of the same, very, very close there. So maybe the stock should chill out a little bit in the coming days, at least up until the earnings report and we get way more information, especially for the second half of the year, launch of the Cybertruck, maybe some news with regards to energy, hopefully we'll see what happens there. But overall, again, great end of the quarter, great month of June. Now, let's wait and see what happens when we get the earnings report. So that will be it for me for this video as always. If you enjoy this type of videos, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.